హలో ఎవరి వన్ మై నేమ్ ఇస్ కే చెంచ రెడ్డి వర్కింగ్ యాజ్ అస్టాండ్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఇన్ తీగల కృష్ణ ఇంజనీరింగ్ కాలేజ్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ఎలక్ట్రికల్ అండ్ హైబ్రిడ్ వెహికల్ దిస్ ఇస్ మై ఫిఫ్త్ లెక్చరర్ ఓకే ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ దిస్ ఫిఫ్త్ చాప్టర్ ఫిఫ్త్ చాప్టర్ నేమ్ ఇస్ ఎనర్జీ మేనేజ్మెంట్ స్ట్రాటజీస్ ఇన్ మై ప్రీవియస్ వీడియోస్ ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ హైబ్రిడ్ ఎలక్ట్రికల్ డ్రైవ్ ట్రైన్ టోపాలజీస్ అండ్ ఎలక్ట్రికల్ డ్రైవ్ ట్రైన్ టోపాలజీస్ అండ్ ఎలక్ట్రికల్ ప్రొపల్షన్ యూనిట్ అండ్ ఎనర్జీ స్టోరేజ్ సిస్టమ్స్ ఓకే ఇన్ మై ప్రీవియస్ ఫోర్ ఫోర్ వీడియోస్ ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ దిస్ ఫోర్ టాపిక్స్ దిస్ ఈజ్ మై ఫిఫ్త్ వీడియో ఇన్ ఫిఫ్త్ వీడియో ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ఎనర్జీ మేనేజ్మెంట్ స్ట్రాటజీస్ ఇన్ ఎనర్జీ మేనేజ్మెంట్ స్ట్రాటజీస్ టోటల్ ఫోర్ టాపిక్స్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఇంట్రడక్షన్ టు ఎనర్జీ మేనేజ్మెంట్ స్ట్రాటజీస్ యూజ్ ఇన్ హైబ్రిడ్ అండ్ ఎలక్ట్రికల్ వెహికల్స్ సెకండ్ టాపిక్ ఈజ్ క్లాసిఫికేషన్ ఆఫ్ డిఫరెంట్ ఎనర్జీ మేనేజ్మెంట్ స్ట్రాటజీస్ థర్డ్ టాపిక్ ఈజ్ కంపారిజన్ ఆఫ్ ఎనర్జీ డిఫరెంట్ ఎనర్జీ మేనేజ్మెంట్ స్ట్రాటజీస్ ఫోర్త్ టాపిక్ ఇంప్లిమెంటేషన్ ఇష్యూస్ ఆఫ్ ఎనర్జీ మేనేజ్మెంట్ స్ట్రాటజీస్ ఇన్ దిస్ ఫోర్త్ చాప్టర్ ఫిఫ్త్ చాప్టర్ ఫస్ట్ పార్ట్ టోటల్ ఫోర్ టాపిక్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐ విల్ కవర్ ఇంట్రడక్షన్ టు ఎనర్జీ మేనేజ్మెంట్ స్ట్రాటజీస్ యూజ్ ఇన్ హైబ్రిడ్ అండ్ ఎలక్ట్రికల్ వెహికల్ ఐ విల్ కవర్ దిస్ టాపిక్ ఓన్లీ ఇన్ దిస్ విత్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐ ఎమ్ అండ్ మై నెక్స్ట్ వీడియో ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ క్లాసిఫికేషన్ ఆఫ్ డిఫరెంట్ ఎనర్జీ మేనేజ్మెంట్ స్ట్రాటజీస్ and comparison of different energy management strategies and implementation issues of energy management strategies okay now i will start i will start presentation okay this is fifth chapter unit 5 unit 5 introduction to energy management strategies first topic introduction to energy management strategies using hybrid and electrical vehicles second topic classification of different energy management strategies third topic comparison of different energy management strategies next implementation issues of energy management strategies this four topics fifth chapter first part second part is case studies design of hybrid vehicles and design of battery vehicles okay this is the uh, circuit diagram uh, block uh, semantic diagram of introduction to energy management strategies used in hybrid and electrical vehicles okay in this circuit here two control levels is there one is a high level control second one is low level control high level control is energy management system this is high level control this block in this block this low level control here ecu and bms and tcu and fourth one mcu ecu means the engine control unit this ecu means engine control unit next this bms is the battery management system this is next tcu is the transmission control unit next this fourth one is the motor control unit this fourth one is a motor control unit here two uh, one uh, two arrows is there one is the this thick line arrow second one is the dotted line arrow this dotted line arrow here from the drive okay this is the from drive this reference will take from one uh, this is one reference this is second reference okay this is power next here three difference is there one is the vehicle speed v v e s is the vehicle speed second one is the engine speed w e n g is the engine speed next third one is the w m o t is the motor speed here have total three speeds one is the vehicle speed second one is the engine speed internal combustion engine third one is the motor speed here these three are three speeds next this energy management system here ecu these two are the bidirectional symbols okay this is connected to ecu to power train and power train to ecu here also bms to power train and power train to B, uh, bms this four are bidirectional symbols here this tice this engine in energy management pro this engine control unit this connected this is the ic is the internal combustion engine here next soc is the state of charge control next this tc use the transmission control unit next this fourth one is the tmot okay this is the motor uh, motor torque here tic is the the internal combustion engine torque next i will explain this description the engine control unit ecu determines the amount of fuel to 
to be injected given the desired torque request okay this T tcu it controlling fuel engine okay fuel controlling in fuel and improving fuel efficiency okay this total control uh, this total ecu it controls only internal combustion engine the main purpose of ecu i will explain this here ecu it improves the engine performance and it improves fuel efficiency and clean emission of exhausted gases and fuel temperature and engine pumping efficiency this five are main main advantages of ecu internal combustion ecu ec means engine control unit okay this five next second one is the bms this battery management system this battery management system advantages uh, this bms battery management system mod monitoring the battery next uh, providing the battery protection okay this is protect this bms battery management system controller uh, pro protecting battery and uh, monitoring uh, battery monitoring means it how much percentage is charging how much percentage is discharging what is the uh, how much is charging have in battery okay when uh, required for charging this is total monitoring here next estimating the battery operate operational state next reporting operational status to external devices last point is continuously optimizing battery performance next this tcu means the transmission control unit this transmission control unit it is connected between mechanical load and mechanical transmission and electrical motor okay this total tcu transmission control unit controlling transmission transmission means uh, mechanical device okay this and electrical device electrical means it converts electrical motor it converts electrical energy to mechanical energy this transmission controller it controlling motor output and transmission transmission means dif uh, differential okay next this tcu electrical energy to usable mechanical energy next this transmission this tcu connected to transmission to motor without clutch okay transmission connected to motor without clutch next fourth one is the motor control unit this motor control unit protecting from over voltage and over current protection next this mcu used in regenerative braking mode operation okay these are the advantages motor control unit operating regenerative braking it protecting from over over temperature protection and over voltage protection and over current protection okay this motor control unit applicable in battery electrical vehicle and pure hybrid electrical vehicle uh, pure hybrid vehicles and hybrid vehicles okay this mcu easy and quick assemble with electrical vehicle propulsion motor okay this is total uh, this topic introduction to energy management strategies used in hybrid vehicles next here the automatic transmission control in tcu okay this tcu is the automatic transmission um, automatic transmission controller in tcu decides when the shift shift gear based on engine conditions and the vehicle speed okay this tcu decides when gear shifting required that time this TC, tcu will be activate next point the aim of energy management system is to determine the optimal power split between the onboard energy sources okay this is the one more important point power split next minimize this controllers minimization of fuel con fuel consumption next minimization minimization of pollution and maximization of battery life cycles okay these are the advantages this total control techniques engine control unit and battery management system and tcu and the motor control unit okay in my next video i will explain classification of different energy management strategies energy management strategies means a rule based energy management strategies and 
optimization fuzzy logic based optimization uh, fuzzy logic based control strategies and optimization of control strategies okay thank you thank you for watching this video